So I came here when I was two years old. Um, I am 28 now. <laughs> I think it's important to say because it gives a picture of the, how long I've been here. I arrived with my mom because my dad came in the early 80s. Um, so by the time my mom and I came, um, my dad was already here and we reunited with him. Later, my two brothers came along. And so currently I have a 17-year-old brother and a 22-year-old brother. My 22-year-old brother was able to sponsor my parents last year and they received their permanent residency. Um, and so currently I have DACA. Yeah, I'm the only one in my family now who is really in a state of limbo and uncertainty. I get really excited for like um, students now who are able to benefit, not just from DACA, but from like the California Dream Act and other things because when I went off to college and when it was my senior year, I don't think people were as open um, about their status because there wasn't the type of support that there is now. Um, and so when I went to college, I still felt like I had to hide a little bit. It wasn't until I met other undocumented students who were in the same situation that I began to feel like, oh my gosh, they know about more resources and I can feel more empowered by my situation than feel ashamed about it. So growing up, I was also really involved in my community and I always wanted to figure out how to give back. And so I remember thinking like, why would the US not want somebody like me? Um, I wanna to go to school, I do so many things in, 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 on my campus, I, on, in my community. Like I'm kind of the ideal candidate here. <laughs> um, at least that's what I used to think. And then now that my life is passing by, now that I'm all, almost 30, and even before I had this realization that that's not what it's about. Because there's so many undocumented people that are making huge contributions and they don't have to be um, they don't have to be in the university or they don't have to have a degree even the ones cleaning doing construction um, the caregivers the um, the truck drivers like my dad like they make a big difference immigrants doesn't just mean people like me that come from um, Latin America, but it means people that come from all over the world and other people here who are connected to them. So I think there's already a lot of suffering because of deportation, family separation, living in fear, that I think it's, it's already, this should have happened like yesterday. And so I think that if Congress is not willing to do anything, then Obama should take that stand and do something now.